The, the history of the STEP procedure is uh, um, uh, one in which we had a child uh, who, uh, in whom we did a uh, Bianchi operation, which uh, was the bowel lengthening operation of choice in the past. And uh, it's a, uh, uh, a very uh, uh, elegant uh, operation, but it has a um, high risk and uh, it can only divide the bowel in half. So if the bowel isn't symmetrically uh, dilated, then it's not an operation that's easy to do. And there are a lot of joinings of the bowel that one has to do when one does the Bianchi. At any rate, we had a child with very short bowel uh, and uh, we uh, rehabilitated the child as best we could. Did not tolerate any feeds through the GI tract. We did a Bianchi still didn't tolerate feeds through the GI tract. The bowel redilated, and then we really had nothing to offer this child. And uh, HB suggested, in a, a really brilliant suggestion, that we apply staples across the bowel. And uh, he'd been thinking of that for many years, and uh, uh, I thought personally it was a, a superb way to go uh, about, about the uh, operation and then uh, uh, with the help of another one of our colleagues, Dario Fauza, we went uh, to the uh, animal lab and a whole series of fellows helped us and we operated on pigs, figured out the details of how to do the operation on pigs um, and then uh, our uh, uh, institutional review board uh, uh, made sure that the consent process uh, for the family of this patient was appropriate uh, they uh, desperately wanted us to do something, and uh, then that child was the first uh, person to have a step operation uh, done after we'd uh, done a, a large series of pig experiments before that.